Hey there guys, how you all doing? You are back with Sam. And before I start, I just want to quickly mention that I've had quite a few comments since starting my Pixel Enemy uploads of people saying that they'd like to see me playing on PC. Now I have recently got this game on PC, I am now playing on it, but I don't want to rush into bringing videos with PC footage. I want to make sure that I fully settled into the game before I start doing that because it's a completely different game on PC. If you play it on PC you will know that it's completely different, it's a lot more intense, there's much more to it and your reaction times have got to be much much faster. So I am still playing on console. Uh, because I've got a lot of friends who play that, but I am also on PC and I will be bringing PC footage in the not too distant future. So, for all those who wanted to see that, that is on the way. But what I want to talk about all relates to the footage you can see in the background. Now this is a team death match on Death Valley, and uh, I really like this this map because it's it's got sort of a unique value to it in the fact that it's set under the moonlight. You know, there's not really many many maps on Battlefield 3 where you are fighting under the cover of nightfall. Now I'm not saying this is a bad thing, we do have a great variety of maps on Battlefield 3, you know. Uh, we've got things set in the snow, set in night, set in daytime, you know, set on water's edges, set around buildings, set around metro stations, etc. There is a great variety, but only a certain number are set in nighttime. I mean, off the top of my head I can just think of Tehran Highway and Death Valley. And so it got me thinking that perhaps, should there be more nighttime maps? in Battlefield 4? You know, do you like maps where you're fighting under the moonlight? Because it's something that I really like and always have done. And uh, I saw a video recently where Westy was talking about an idea for an all-American DLC and it, and it got me thinking that perhaps there could be sort of a nighttime warfare DLC where it's just a map pack full of nighttime maps and maybe some sort of special attachments that you've got because perhaps on some maps you'll need night vision to, to do as well as others and you know you could even have maps where you get a dynamic shift where it starts off maybe at dusk but if the battle rages on for so long the sun sets, the moon starts to rise and the, and the map gets darker and there's just this huge change in dynamic on the game itself. So I think it would be something that could be quite cool if it's done right. But if it's done wrong it could become quite frustrating as well where you know where you feel like you really can't do much because you don't feel equipped enough. But they did a great job with Death Valley, you know, you, you never struggle to see the enemy. It's it's a very good map. It's to me it looks a little bit like the compound that belonged to Osama bin Laden that was assaulted when he was shot. You know, it's it's you've got this little building in the middle and then a large surrounding area and it just, it's just a great map to play on in my opinion. I do really like nighttime maps but it's all about what you think as well because I am just one person and one person doesn't really represent the community in any way at all. So I want to know what you guys think as well. Do you like nighttime maps? Do you like fighting under the moonlight? And if so, would you like to see more of these maps in Battlefield 4 or would you just like to see a couple so that these have sort of like the, the unique value that Death Valley has and Tehran Highway has? So I want to know what you think. Maybe you think the Nighttime Warfare DLC idea is a good idea. Maybe you think it's a bad idea. Just let me know. And maybe you like the idea of the time of day on a map changing as the battle goes on. So I really want to know what you guys think. Like I said, it was just a little idea I had and I want to put it to you and get your opinions on it. But that's really all I had to say. Uh, if you do like the video, please click like and subscribe. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed so far and shown me support. But in the meantime, you guys take care of yourselves and I hope to see you all very soon.